Hello everyone, welcome back to another tech video on my channel. Uh, thank you very much for all your feedback, comments and the messages you sent to me, my page and everything because your comment and like you put onto the video is really encouraging me to do something more. So uh, last video we were discussing about how we can implement backend services on uh, Node.js but using Nest.js. So that means we can use a TypeScript, right? So we are in a journey, uh, we're going to learn all the industry practices and um, tools and uh, some tricks and tips we can use to use an SJS on our project, right? So it's kind of a SJS master course, right? We are, I'm going to talk everything what you need to know on SJS. So, so today video, I'm going to take you uh, one more step. I'm going to explain you how we can use uh, DTOs and how you can do the planned operations and how you can expose multiple endpoints and few other things. Okay. So let's see uh, what we do. I did a small change, very small change off the shelf. So here there was a numbers, right? But I put uh, the text instead of that. Okay. I, I, uh, later on, I noticed that. So I fixed it. Okay. Uh, so, before we start, I had to tell the uh, source project of the GraphQL video, GraphQL course, source project has been pushed into GitHub and also I updated the uh, GitHub link on the video, right? So, and the description section. If you're interested in that, you can go and check my uh, project as well. Okay, good. So, let's see whether this uh, program is still working. npm run start dev. Um, looks good. Okay. Uh, let's go back and uh, create few employees. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, get all employees. Okay, good. Right, so we have uh, everything. So, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to introduce you the DTOs, right? So why DTOs are important? Is DTO is must to use? No, but we highly, highly recommend you to use DTOs. The reason is this, right? So if you take as example, this employee model, right? We have a ID, first name, last name, designation, near city and the tier, okay? So let me to add one more thing here called, let's say status, okay? I'm going to add new more uh, enum here called employee status. Okay, I created new enum and I'm going to add here called status and this is also employee status. Okay, good. So uh, now, okay, it broke my, um, this one, employee service to TS. So let's go here and it says employee doesn't have the status. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a status by default at every time employee create it's a status is active. Okay, we create that because the status is active, right? Okay, so we are good now. Okay, so what we were talking about is why we need the DTOs. So look at here. We have uh, this employee uh, model, right? The how employee looks like. So now here you have ID, first name, last name, designation, near city, tier and status, right? So time to time, business change, requirement change. So your employee model also may change. For example, today we are allowing you to update only near a city. On the employee uh, object, you are only allowed to update the near a city. But business may change in future saying, okay, we are allowing to update the first name and the last name as well. Right. At some point later, uh, business may tell uh, we are allowing to update the designation as well. But they will tell you we are not allowing to update the tier as a uh, update process. So when you want to do that, if you expose this entire employee object to update, select, and delete, and everywhere, you you I mean, it's really hard to maintain. Right? Because it's hard to control because you need to only allow to update uh, near a city for now. But if you put this 
in uh, this entire DTU, in entire this model, if you expose, there is a possibility other developer, right? May, let's say you uh, complete this project and you deploy, there's a change request comes and there's other developer take this story, right? That developer doesn't know, maybe he, he doesn't go through all the spec, he just suddenly says, yeah, 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 let, let me to uh, allow to update the designation as well, right? But that's violating our business requirement. To avoid such thing, you can use DTOs. Right? Uh, though we can use the model for everything, it's highly recommend you to use the separate DTO for everything what you need to do. For example, if you want to update, you can use an update DTO. Right? If you want to uh, select like let's say just a uh, profile summary, you can use a uh, prof employee summary DTO. Right? If you want a full profile, you can use an employee DTO for that. In that case, you can may use a uh, this uh, model as well. Right? So other thing is you this allow you to hide certain sensitive information. For example, let's say you have a business requirement. We never disclose employees uh, medical uh, like let's say uh, spouse name okay, or spouse contact number or uh, employees address. We never disclose this right. So in that case you can have this on employee mo uh, this model but you can skip those from all the details. I hope you understand. That is theory and uh, explanation about why we need it. Let's let's practically see a few examples. Today I'm going to show you uh, all the current operations implemented into this uh, service and plus I'm going to do those through uh, certain details, right? Uh, we'll do that. Let's create a DTO first. I'm going to like let's say now we have all employees, right? I'm going to give feature if if you if user won, you can filter employees by status or uh, probably you can create employees by uh, based on their first name last name right you can you can allow user to search by first name and last name okay let's see how we can do that so i'm going to create employee so i created a new file called employee search dto I'm going to create this DTO also as an uh, interface. Export interface. Right, so my DTO only has two uh, fields. One is a status. Uh, status, you can use a can filter based on the status, and also use a can filter based on. Uh, name okay, so this name could be first name and the last name doesn't matter. So now I need to go to service right? And I'm going to impl uh, implement employee fi uh, search feature Okay, here in the employee search I'm going to take a parameter as uh, employee search DTO Okay, and I'm going to return employee. Right? So let's let's set the set the return type later. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to again use the destruct. Right? I need to separate uh, status and the name. And I'm not going to explain this again. I I explain how this uh, destruct works. Right. So now I need to see is there any employees from this uh, status, right? So how I can do that? I'm going to take. I'm going to use get all employee method for that. This dot get all employees, right? And then I want to filter employees who is in this given state. Okay, so it has to be let because I, I'm going to use the same variable and I can define a new variable here I'm going to use the same variable so it has to be uh, let not the const right so now here what we have employees who are belongs to this status right so we need to do this if only user set the status otherwise we don't have to do that right so this that we can handle with this one okay 
So now what? If user set the status, we are taking all the employees and filtering out the employees we need to that status, right? So now if user set the name, right? What we need to do is we need to again filter this for this name, right? So employees dot filter and I'm going to get the employee again, right? So now what I'm going to do is employee okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell if the employee first name or last name include this uh, given name uh, filter it out right so i'm going to uh, remove that one so I, uh, you can see the entire code so now this is done so now i'm going to return employees okay i'm going to return employees Right, so we are done with the service, so we need to change the controller now. Here what I'm going to do is, uh, when the request hit to the get all employee method, if there are any filters exist, if the user want to filter the result from something, I'm going to filter that, otherwise I'm going to uh, give them all employees, right? But here you can argue this logic has to go to the service, because business logic should be uh, stay on the service. But if you really think this is kind of a routing traffic right so based on the um, uh, parameter user give or uh, caller give you are going to route the traffic so therefore i'm going to take into get to all employee method okay so here what we need to do we need to take uh, request parameters right so we need to take something from the user in order to uh, in order to do this right so how we do this, we are going to get the something on the body. Uh, let's get this as a URL parameter. Since we already learned how to do with the body, let's uh, do this with the URL parameter. So how I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I'm going to put the decorator called query, right? So in the query decorator, I'm asking, hey, um, give me this as a param. But type of the param is my employee search TTO. Okay. For before we do anything, I'm just going to log this. So uh, then I can show you what happened here. Right. So console.log param. Okay. So let's make this simple. And okay, good. Right, so now, whatever the parameter comes here, we are going to log, okay? Good. So, let's go back here. Okay. So, um, let's have here status equal active and a name equal, let's say, um, health. I'm going to send this request, right? So nothing comes, of course. Okay. So now you can see here, whatever the parameter sending from the uh, REST control, I mean, uh, whatever the parameter sent by the REST client, it's come and log here, right? So we can use this, we can pass this to the service, okay? So here I'm going to do first do the wrong way, then I'm going to show you the correct way, okay? So here, because this is the some like kind of a mistake uh, all the developers do, they want to see whether these parameters exist, okay? So how they do is, if parameters exist, then this dot employee service dot, right? Employee search and we pass para, okay? So we expect here to happen this one right so else i'm going to do this right so i'm going to put two console log statement to show you what's happened here right so filter right so without filter right so filter and no filter okay good so now now let's let's try again okay so now still we don't have uh uh, anything right so don't worry about the, the response so here you say is a filter of course okay because we're sending the filter now i'm going to remove the filter 
right? So when I remove the filter, still, still it says filter, right? Still it says filter, okay? So why still it says filter? So let's try to log what is the pattern here, right? Because I'm, I'm doing this way because this is kind of a mistake a lot of developers do, okay? So let's try again. Okay, you can see here it print empty object, right? So therefore, this logic become true, right? So how we can avoid this, I'm going to use object dot keys and I'm going to param here dot length, right? So if this object has any length, then uh, go to the filter, otherwise go to um, no filter section, okay, we'll see how this work, right? So we send this and you can see now it's taking the correct path, okay? So this is not a big deal, but I just want to show you this because a lot of developers do this mistake, okay? How we can uh, write this, okay, cool. So now everything should work fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create few uh, employees, okay? And I'm going to create an employee call and Yes, to make sure we can uh, get this so get all employees I'm I'm getting the, now these all employees right so here I'm going to set uh, status okay I'm going to uh, I'm going to set the status and and see what happened nothing comes out okay nothing comes out okay so here we can see like we are passing active and we are asking and but nothing comes out when we remove this right when we remove this one you can see i get all the things right so now let's see how we can figure this out okay how we are going to figure this out okay fine so now request of course come here right and request goes to this path right so now what you can do is you can print here okay you can print here what is the employee sorry what is the uh, employee search dto variable comes here right employee search dto variable comes here sorry okay this one right so now if you uh, check this right of course now uh, again you will not have anything right so it's it's getting right active and and you it's getting right here's the problem now okay here's the problem you can see this one okay so now here, since it has a status, of course it's go to this filter, right? Of course it's go to this filter. Now let's see what it will print, right? So let's do the console log. Right? I mean, I can solve this very quickly, but I'm going to take you through this journey because this type of thing can happen in your code and you need to know how we can uh, overcome this type of situations okay so i'm going to log this okay i'm going to log uh, this one right employees okay this time it will not have anything right so let's create the and and also let's create the b for the rest of the thing right okay if you call here now you won't get anything but if you see here right so if you see here, you can see it's it tells, right? It tells active this one and it tells I'm getting all the active employees, right? I'm getting all the active employees. That's why it's logging here, right? So that means we pass through this. Now the problem is whether this is going through the second logic. So let's print this also here. Console.log employees. Okay, so now I'm going to comment this one and send this again of course now you won't have anything because uh, it get reset every time when we restart this right so let's create an also and get to all the employees now you you don't have anything here it see it print the and right it print the and so now what is the problem right the problem is, we did this purposely, the problem is here, if it has anything, we don't return something, right? If it has anything, we don't return something. 
So that is the problem, right? So we went through because first what we did is we checked with our logic is working fine. So now we know logic is work fine, right? The problem was I did uh, I did not put the return on purpose to show you this, right? Okay, because when everything is working as expected, then things doesn't go to your brain. Usually that's my experience, okay? Right, so now I have a few ands and then I'm going to use a Brian here, right? And I'm going to use a John and also I'm going to use the Jane, right? I'm going to use the Jane, right? So now if I get all the employees, I will have all the employees. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter to Brian, right? So now you can see you have a Brian, right? So I'm going to tell A, if anyone has a name, uh, A in the first name or the last name, just take this, right? So now you can see because Anne has the name and Hale or everyone has this, right? So let's, let's create a different one to show you. I'm going to use Hells here, right? Jane Hells. And I'm going to tell if anyone has the Z on their name, right? And take this. Right. So now you can see we filtered it. Right. So we cannot filter. I mean, you don't have to use the active. Right. So you can uh, take like only this parameter. Uh, you can use only this one. Right. It's working. Right. So filter working. Right. So now hardest thing we've done. Right. So now let's quickly implement the um, rest of the uh, CRUD operations. So first I need to implement um, get employed by ID. Right, so uh, I'll do that quickly. Here, okay, it's uh, it's very quick and simple. So I just implemented that. So now what I do here, I go uh, to this place and then um, I'm going to go to control and implement this one. So this is get request, but what you need, what you need to pay your attention here, right? So this one. So here URL path is ID, right? I need to pass employees after then employee ID, right? So then get employee by ID and then here I need to tell I need param, right? I need param here, right? Not the query, but because it's come as a path variable, right? So path variable here we take as a param. Name is ID and take uh, type is string. Okay, type is string. So now, return. This time I'm just going to uh, do the return. This dot, employee service dot, get employee by ID and we pass the ID. Okay, so here what you need to understand, now employee slash ID comes, right? We says param, we need to tell here which ID to take, right? I mean, I could uh, do that like as a wrong one and come and back and fix, but to save the time, I just fix it here. Right, so let's come and uh, create a new request here. Uh, okay, so find employee by ID. Right, so this is a get request, that's fine. And find employee by ID, I'm going to uh, copy this URL itself, right? and paste it here but if i call this one i will not have any employees because it's restarted so let's create few uh, employees right and then let's fetch one and i'm going to copy one employee from here right so i mean uh, yes it's true because everyone has the same name right don't worry about it find employee by id slash this one so now when I send this, I, uh, you can see it get isolated the particular employee, right? So if you want to make sure this, right? So I'm going to create here again, uh, John. Right? So John Doe, and I'm going to send this and then get all the employees. I will have a John Doe here, right? So I get the John Doe's ID and paste into here and Boom, 
it goes right so now let's quickly implement the update as well right so update mean what uh, we are going to uh, get the employee id and let's say change the update the city right so for that one i'm going to create uh, uh, other dto because uh, you need to practice to deal with these things with the dtos right um Okay, so this is employee update uh, DTO. Okay, here I need two things. One is the ID and then what is the new city, right? So I'm going to take the ID as a string and city as a string itself, right? But keep in mind this id comes in a url path but the city comes in the uh, either uh, para, uh, url encode or in a json body okay so let's try to uh, do this we go to service and now i'm going to create a update employee method here my uh, parameter is Employee update DTO. Right, employee update DTO. It will automatically import. Right, so I need to specify uh, return types everywhere. Right, so I can I can return the employee itself once it's updated. Okay, so now let's see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to find this employee first. Right, so let Okay, so here I'm going to use the existing method to get the all the employee, get the particular employee. Here uh, I'm going to use the destruct for this one again, right? I, I don't think I need to uh, explain this again and again. Okay, so city. right so here it's complained probably i misspelled here yes true and i'm going to save this and come back employee service dto is good so i get uh, the particular it's not the employees it's a particular employee i'm going to get the employee by id so this is what you need to practice okay the encapsulation you can take this directly from this employees array right because it's here it's as an array but you should never do that you always should go through the uh, methods to uh, enforce encapsulation because then later on when you change this employee array for some database or somewhere you don't have to touch any of these codes right that's a good practice to do right otherwise i could directly get this employee uh, array uh, without calling this method right but that's a very bad you should never do that right now employee dot employee dot near the city equal city okay so here what you need to understand is i'm going to return this employee itself right so here what you need to understand is we have to put certain validation for these things right i'm just ignoring this just sake of uh, doing this current operation but i'm going to do the validation on the next video right i'm going to uh, show you those as well okay good so we are done here so go back to controller and this is a put request right so here we need to get the employee id right and then we need to call as a city right so, so my update url will be employees slash id slash city right the rest url uh, practice if you are not sure how the rest url comes there is a video of mine you can go and check in this channel okay so update employee right here i'm get i'm going to get the uh, body okay so here body comes as a employee update dto this dot employee service dot update employee employee update dto 
right here let, let's change this to employee update dto okay let's pass this variable employee update dto return and this will return employee but there's one thing we need to do here right there's one thing we need to do here um, that is so since uh, we have not added a type for anywhere I'm going to remove this type for a moment here here what you need to do is right so here ID comes as a uh, query param right so therefore we need to take this ID and like this right so we need to take the ID so that means we need to have other one called param right so what the param we are going to take ID and assign that to right ID type of string right so here what I'm going to do is just before we push this I'm going to change this object employee update dto dot id equal this id right so they are because I'm going to take the id in the param and then uh, this one from here right uh, so from the body and then I'm going to merge these two right let's uh, execute and see I'm going to create a new request so this time it's a put request update employee and body type would be uh, JSON I can uh, send this as a URL encode if want but I'm going to send as a JSON here I'm going to tell city and city name is Morrisville right so I need to get um, let's say find employee by one okay so I'm going to copy this to here right and then I need to uh, get uh, create few employees and get the ID right okay so get all employees I have this one and I'm going to get this John Doe now this John Doe is in LA I'm going to convert that to Morrisville okay so how we are going to do this we are going to change it here like this and tell as a city right so this is my URL path, right? So this URL path comes here, ID and the city, right? So this ID and the city. So city should set to uh, Morrisville, right? So now it changed, right? So I got the response and if I go to go to get all employees and you can see this one is changed to Morrisville, okay? So now the final one, let's implement the delete request, right? So let's go here and go to our uh, service and let's implement delete right so delete employee again we need to take the id string right and here there's nothing to uh, pass when you when you delete the employee so again i'm going to use this one right so i'm going to uh, delete this time uh, do this right um let employees equal this dot get all employees I'm going to get the all employees first right so then I'm going to use the filter but with the not right so see what I'm doing here employees equal employees dot is dot filter and I'm going to get the employee and this time I'm going to return all the employees right who ID does not match to does not match to the ID we pass right in this way we will have only the employees who uh, this the ID if the ID is match it will not return so that means it will automatically delete it right so it's good it's very simple let's go back to controller and create the delete request and here again we need to uh, get the uh, id okay and delete employee here we need to get the param 
Right, so param inside the param you need to get the id assigned to id and the type is string um, that's all we have right and this dot employee service dot delete the employee and we pass the id okay and we can return from here but uh, it won't return anything because uh, we are deleting this but i'll show you how we can um set a proper uh, status code because now this will go as a status code 200 but ideally it should not because if you are not sending any content back we need to ideally say no content right so we all good let's go and uh, test this right but let me tell you one thing this will not work okay so we will not have any errors but it will not work it's a logical error um, again I created that on purpose to show you something right so delete okay good so I'm a little lazy to uh, type this so this is identical to this one so let me to copy this and then if we try this we don't have any employees let's create four one two three four good and now see this one I'm going to get four employees and I'm going to delete this one it will not give me any error ideally but it will not delete either right so you can see there's no any errors but if i get these all employees yeah they all exist right so what happened so this is a logical error i just created this because again this is something uh, most of the time uh, people uh, uh, code wrong okay so if you go to this delete employee so you will see here this one right so we get the employee to new variable and then we set this one right but this didn't change the original employees right so what you need to do is this dot i mean there are other ways to do this right uh, there are other ways to do this i'm going to do this way to show this to you right i'm going to take the easiest path okay right now good now we don't have any employees ideally right so create four employees one two three four right and then we get all employees good we copy one and go here and paste this delete and when you call this back boom now we only have a three right so because we deleted okay anyway so when we delete here you don't have anything right but it says 200 that's wrong i mean that's not wrong 200 minutes success because delete success right so but ideally since there is no content it should say no content right so how we can do something like this in here the controller you can tell what should be the http status code return with this right so http status you can say this is 204 right i think it's not the http status i think it's http code yeah http code okay so now what it will do is it will return it will override the uh, http status code right for a 204 but see the problem with this logic okay so now you have a two employees right so this one I'm going to delete this one right so now it will give you it will give you uh, this 204 no content but here is the problem with this one let's try with sample right so wrong non-existing employee ID so now you tell this still it's a no content that's kind of wrong right because then we don't know whether it's a deleted or not right so in this type of cases what we can do is i mean there are multiple ways to do that okay because uh with the latest uh, nsj specification you can do this with the interceptors right response interceptors so how the easiest way you can do it uh, this method right i'm going to check here right i'm going to check here if right employees dot length right equal 
to this dot employees dot len so that mean we didn't delete anything right we didn't delete anything so if this is not t equal that means we did delete something right so i'm going to return this right i'm going to return this so i'm going to tell hey i'm going to return a boolean from here right i'm going to return a boolean from here so this way we can see whether it's a deleted or not so now we come back to controller right we come back uh, come back to controller and we tell okay good if right if this return boolean that's fine right if this return boolean that's fine but if in case it didn't return the boolean right if this didn't return the boolean so we can tell through new not found exception right so throw new not found exception saying employee does not exist okay employee does not exist so now let's try this one one two three right so get all employees we have a three employees and i'm going to delete the third one and i'm going to delete the third one right so here i'm going to put this one and delete right we get the no content 204 so if i check this this employee deleted but if i fire this delete request again right you will get use employee does not exist right because it's already deleted right so as i said there are multiple ways to handle this for example here you can get uh, response right so like this you can get the uh, type of response right so i think it's a, a res yeah like this you can get the uh, response and it's a type of response right so you can take this and you can update edit the response or status code and the messages and everything and as i said latest uh, with the latest features you can have a response interceptors uh http this code interceptors right so with that you can override the status code you can do multiple things we are going to uh, discuss in detail how we can do the validations because for example how we to make sure the uh, the object we expect and the object what the rest client sent is same right and how we can centralize this error handling how we can put this global error handler and make sure uh, every request go through that interceptor and if it is something wrong trigger this error message we can do something like that right so let's do that in the next video till that make sure you practice these things and also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and also share this video with your friends till that stay safe take care